Super Walker Loading Stand Mark One, William Hovey Smith, 2014. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and here we produce the second variant of a loading stand for one of our pistols. We have now produced the Mark I version of our loading stand for the Super Walker. We have not reached perfection. Now this is the arm used on the original version. The new one is made out of a piece of tool handle that had already broken off and is a much stronger wood, so I can put more leverage on it and more force. I've also replaced the plunger that actually seats the ball in the cylinder. This is a tougher wood, and I'm also using a brass jag here actually designed to seat bullets. And this way, the flat end here does not slide off the side of the bullet, nor does it bear at an angle on this shaft, which ultimately split it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, these are definite improvements. And uh, with this rig, I can load round balls very, very well. However, I still have problems loading conical bullets. Like this. The problem with conicals is that they must be seated absolutely straight up and down in the chamber. And with my handheld tools, I lack the precision of indexing these. So this is actually a few thousandths off. And it puts a slight cant as the bullets are loaded in the cylinder. And that's not good enough. If you're going to make something like this, it's before you drill your holes to join these two pieces together. You get this member, you run it all the way down to the bottom of the chamber. You tape this up vertically with electrical tape. Then you drill a pilot hole all the way through when everything is lined up absolutely exactly. And that way you can index your holes in the right place. By guess and by God, uh, no, that's not good enough in this situation. As you can see, we're going to practice what we preach. And we've gotten ready to drill our new pilot hole here. Now I plugged this one and sealed it. So we're going to try to come straight up from the bit, which is right here, and try right through there. And see if we can drill this pilot hole all the way and get as straight as we can through all of the work. These are tough, hard woods, and I use four progressively larger bits so that I can get through both pieces. Okay, and a quarter inch bolt should pass now. It does. Go straight through. And the plunger should lift smoothly out of the cylinder. Voila. Now that we have performed what might be called an attitude adjustment for me and the Super Walker loading stand here. I am weighing out 30 grains of Hodgson's triple seven because this charge will work with all of the bullets I'm testing. Yes, that works. Yes, those did well. All right, now the next challenge will be four, five, seven round balls. Okay, so there's a four, five, seven. Center it up. Okay, try to get straight.
cut it went okay potato ajamas 200 gram bullets okay and everything up true okay that was the first lube groove there all right okay give it a tap here see if that helps uh, partially but we are not seated as far down as we need to be. It's still a little proud over the top of the chamber there. Pounding on a bullet to seat it in a chamber does not appeal to me from the point of view of ballistics or safety. Okay, now it's seated below the chamber. Now that's about its depth. Let's see to where it could be, should be. All right. Now, what the difficulty is, is with the spindle. The spindle is not exactly vertical. So things tend to want to cant over in this direction. All right. Also, Although this has not split or broke, it uh, is probably best replaced with a piece of, say, something like half-inch water pipe. These members are fine. These are able to take the strain without any problem. The through bolt here is fine. The quarter-inch bolt here is fine. And the base is fine. It's the fact that this is not absolutely vertical that's causing most of the difficulties. We are continuing our modifications to the stand for the Super Walker. Most significantly what we have done is we have reset the spindle here so that it is as near vertical as we can get it. We've also carved out this area here to allow the rear of the cylinder to come in and fit flush down onto the base. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load a cylinder full and this is Kato Ajama's 220, 240, and 255 grain bullets. There's not much visual difference between the 240s and the 255s so be sure you don't mix them. But we're going to start off, as before, with just seating the wads. Okay. Seating my way there so you can see. All right. Okay. So now we try our round ball load. Okay. And it's straight. Okay. That went down. Felt good. All right. This is our 220. No bullet here. And we go get it started straight for sure. Mm 
Okay, that went down very simply and easily. Okay, I think we're making progress. Here I actually pick up a 255 grain bullet, which is a larger diameter Our bullet. Our 240s. And I actually have to pound this thing down into the chamber to get it to work. But the 220 grainers and the 240 grainers do just fine. And they accept things good? No. Yes, doesn't like it. See if that's an accident. See if this one does any better. Okay, that went down well. Okay, that went. That looks good. Back and try this one again. Not the best. Okay, that one went. Okay, that's set. Oh, okay. We've got them all now set down to where they're all looking reasonable. But... The 255 grain bullet has a larger diameter and did not load well in the walker. Now here is the old model of my loading stand and now the new version. And it does very well with round ball, 220, and 240 grain bullets. Now I'm the author of a series of books, including those you see here, and these are available as soft cover and e-books. I have an eight book ebook series coming out for 2013 14, including hunting with muzzle loading revolvers as well as muzzle loading guns for self defense. Now, the Super Walker loading stand lacks the precision of a bench press. Yeah, it can't quite do that, but it does very well with the round ball and the 220 and the 240 grain bullets if you index the bullets precisely in the chambers. Now, do not attempt to compress powder by pounding on it. You can get an explosion that way. Got that one? Now, for information on my books, blogs, and videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.